I'm so down to start paper cut streams this way. With with obscure hurdy gurdy music. Come on, get to the get to the point, get to the end of the movement, I need to stop this so we can get started. Come on. Oh my gosh. They're nowhere near them. They're nowhere near. Oh. Okay, there. We got to a we got to a little movement stopping point there. How did everyone like the, uh, how did everyone like the, uh, hurdy-gurdy music? I enjoyed it. I enjoy it. If it doesn't, if it doesn't net me an, if it doesn't net me audio trouble, I'm genuinely down to keep doing it. <laughs> because that's fun. It's like, I found this in a thrift store. Oh, speaking of, uh, welcome to the Igloo Perfectly Imperfect Stole. It sure is cold out there, and I'm glad you've come in to join us. Let's get playing some control, shall we? Uh, we were trying to fix the mm, the power system last we left off. I love this ambient synth nonsense. By the way, if the hurdy gurdy does get muted, I do have a plan for additional background music, but I don't know when I get. I'm going to be able to get it implemented. Anyway, let's play some control, shall we? The service weapon recharges ammunition automatically when not in use. Combine your abilities with a service weapon while in combat for optimal results. I think we were about to walk into a boss. Where were we? Oh, okay. Yeah, we need to fix the energy. Can I get up there that way? No, I cannot. But I can do this. No, I can't. Hmm. Well, this looks not me. Not me checking if I have the... <laughs> I literally had to check if I have the hurdy gritty music on. I'm like, there wasn't a vocalist listed on that album. No, this is... Um, Ati's... Uh, little radio, I assume. Well, that's radioactive. Let's maybe not interact with that. Where's the radio? Is the radio in the channel? Oh, it is. Well, I didn't mean to knock that. Is there, like, another part of the thing we needed to do, or am I supposed to be in the furnace chambers? Maybe we need to feed the big angry lights some radioactive barrels? What do we say, chat? You think it looks hungry? I don't know. It looks pretty hungry to me. Maybe. Well, where is one? Let's... Do it while we're in here, so I don't. Oh, hey, hey, wait, 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 what's this? My name is Audio Dr. Logs. Pierce, lead researcher. Hi, Dr. Pierce. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to hear you if I, I walk away. A code Omega Paranatural Entity residing within the oh. Bureau itself. Right under our well, noses. That sounds. Dark right under our noses. To allocate me the budget or resources, so, so I'm taking matters into my own hands. I mean. Why Let's wouldn't they allocate the I need to convince It's right there. The mm. furnace can speak. The furnace can it's speak? I don't think that's a good now. sign. Listen. Ma'am, are you okay? Did you hear I that? don't hear anything. It's a sentient no, I didn't. capable of communicating. I checked I mean, and, and there's no record of, of ever installing this furnace. I mean, there's not a lot of record of installing a lot of things in here. <clears throat> you know? I believe it. Oh, oh sorry. Oh. What? Well, yes, words. I think you do. Uh, what do you need? I see. Uh, I'll try to find some volunteers. Uh, well, that's not a good sign. What do you eat? I'll try to find some volunteers. Horrifying. Thank you. Uh, can I? I uh, did Ati need barrels full of hazardous biological material? Oh, that's biohazard. Oh, well, look at this. This is breaking some environmental regulations material. on waste disposal, but if that's what Ati wants, then I'll get it done. I mean, if it eats biomass, if it eats biomass, why not use it to dispose of biohazardous materials, really? Yeah. Obviously, Eating them in there like that and having them explode all over the place isn't exactly the most safe thing in the world. But here's appropriate to be on. 
You know, you might as well. There already needs to eat them. Oh, the energy. We haven't finished the energy converters. Maybe I don't want to feed this until we finish the energy converters. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna. I'm gonna see once what happens when I try without without uh, fixing the energy converters, and that may bite me. It seems like it is definitely. It is unassailably got brighter, right, gang? I sure think so. It looks like it is much more yellow in here, like visibly so. There's one more barrel. So those aren't biohazardous, so we probably shouldn't feed them anything. But where is the remaining biohazard barrel? There's a bunch of barrels that are non-biohazardous. My captions on, speaking of. I just thought of that. Yeah, captions are good. I don't know why, like, oh man, something's out of place. Maybe you think of the cat. Ooh, item! An energy recovery mod. Okay, so there's no biohazard barrels down here. Which means... What? Oh, wait. Oh, I... Oh. Huh. Well, okay. Noted. That may come in handy later if I ever notice those. There's gotta be one more barrel or we'd be done. Past it, I mean, they glow green. Maybe I need to look up. Oh, wait a minute. Can I go up there? Let me up there. What's up here? Oh. Oh. That looks like it's a secret. Secret. Oh, and then there's. This is a control point. Huh. Where's the last barrel? You'd think we'd notice it with the lighting effect. And who knows, maybe we have noticed it and we're just looking past it? It's not up there. But it's not down there, so why am I... Let's tilt the camera upward here. See that? That looks like a green glow. We might have missed it. See there? I think we missed one. Maybe. I mean, that that's very visibly green. It must be down here. Ow. Fall damage. Where is it then? Is this it? It's not glowing. This is not it. It's not glowing. Oh, but it's got a little bit of green vibe going on. Let's, where is it then? There's clearly a green cast occurring. Maybe it is this one. Who knows? We'll throw it into the thing and then keep it. Eat. Not quite. Mm -hmm. I mean, 
Okay, so the green light's there. Oh, mm -hmm. green. Not quite what I wanted there. Where is it? Oh, oh I can stand on this. So the green light. I mean, is that just a consequence of the light there? Where? Where is the last barrel? I just don't see it. Maybe we do need to go fix the energy converters. Maybe it did work, and now we need to go fix the energy converters? Could be. I mean, the game probably assumes that you're gonna take this on linear, linearly. Let's go fix the energy converters, I guess. Can I go back up there? Can I go back up there, actually? Uh, oh. Tell me if you see what I see. There we go. That's why it was green. They got me. Burn the trash. Trash burned. Come on, Magnus. Ah, uh, hey. Do you have anything you want to say to chat? Yeah. No, I'm okay. I'm up here. Yeah. Our wee little lamp flat. Yeah. Our wee little lamp flat. Oh, yeah. Not paying you any mind. Don't nobody love you. Nobody never paid this man any attention. Can you believe it? Dad always so busy sitting in the chair and typing things that nobody ever gave him any attention. Well, it's just the worst for a little man, isn't it? Yeah. I'm talking about you. Mister, can I pay you any attentions? Hmm? You don't pay me anything, actually. I work for Bono. It's true. I do not have the funds to give you salary. So fast travel, energy converters. What do we think, sir? I don't think we should bonk the charging phone. That might not end well for you. Can I pick that up? No? Okay. So we can't go in there because of, you know, gunk. What we can do is, unfortunately. What the boy? Oh, you're crazy. You're crazy. Did I get you last time? But I dealt with you all. Like, previously.
there's a box back by the control point. There's also a box right here. Okay, so this will this prove my point. If I can't... If I can't do this in a combat situation... Well, I think the combat music just stopped, so... Okay, well, we partially fixed the energy. Down a level. That is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to kind of do a diff whoop around the around the thing there, and sometimes games let you do that in defiance of you know how physics works, and sometimes they don't. And this game said, "No, you're not allowed to do that." And I went, "You know what? That makes sense. Thank you for asserting your physical requirements." Uh, let's see if uh, getting rid of these lads has stuck. Oh, boxes. Wow. Hey, little energy generator guy, come with me. We're gonna go solve a problem together. Oh, well this is the problem I was hoping to solve. It was so cool, you know. Oh, this is immediately. Are you sure this is immediately? I'm not the broadside of a bar. Oh, cool, the uh, missiles are, you know, Missiles, and so therefore can curve because you know some of these guys have telekinesis. Definitely remember that. Stop doing that. Actually, uh, energy, melee, launch, we've got
got four points. Do we want to spend on health? Honestly, I kind of want to. I kind of want to spend on. This one. I can I upgrade. Can I upgrade this? There was a way to upgrade. Oh, I have a bunch of new personal mods. Launch efficiency would be really nice. I feel like I'm not using launch a lot. Oh, we have the flash step. We have the dodge. I forgot about that. Launch efficiency might be nice because I feel like I'm... I have dodge efficiency equipped and I'm not using it. I feel like I should upgrade my weapon here. Is there a way to do that? Oh, collectibles. We'll look at collectibles later. Missions, assets, clearance level. There was a way to do that. How did we... Ooh, launch explosives actually feels very handy. Additional weapon forms. So we have the ability to change our weapon form here. Somewhere. Weapon form. Huh. How did we get how do we get a hold of a new weapon form? Because we have an additional spot. We need to crack it right. Uh astral constructs. There we go. Weapon forms. Uh, let's construct construct spin. Best used in controlled bursts. Well, I could construct them both, really. I think. Uh, spin's got a little higher requirement. We'll construct it first. Cool. Yeah, we're a little short. We're a little shorter than I thought. Oops. Uh, yeah, we'll get spin first. Spin feels like it's very useful. Uh, we could construct random weapon mods. So now I can go in here and equip spin instead of grip. And then I can apply another uh, rate of fire boost, grouping efficiency, grouping efficiency. Absolutely. Yeah. 
and got them all. No more combat moves. Nice. Easy peasy. Not at all difficult difficult. Not a difficult difficult. Hands a little sweaty there. That's a, that's a real I really like spin though. So so now this is okay, so the crosshair is how you intuit what's different. So these are single accurate shots. This is okay. chain gun. And then there is a... Roof feels a lot safer when you're around. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, we've already asked about all this. I should now. be going. Sorry. Try to stay right. alive. You got a lock down the lift. I do got a lock down the lift. Where the heck is that? Territorial override. Where is that at? Well, at least we've got the energy converters in it. I can see through half. Is the clock back? Now? Oh man. I oh, be so pissed. The fact that it has a name is not a good sign. Where? So that's security. We walk past the control room. Control room is what I That's central maintenance. Another thing. Dodge efficiency and energy boost. I wonder if I get to, you know, crunch those up into something more useful later. How did I get the map? Photo mode. Oh cool, I can left pause with the trackpad there. Map. Ah, here we are. Map. Control. Well, let's look at the mission log here. Directorial override. Internal lockdown is emergency security measures stopping us. Reaches the maintenance sector. Helps choose 
before performing the directorial override and then locking the sector elevator. Oh, uh... Do you don't love that I have to do I have to redo all this now? Because I uncracked the mission? Is that what's about to happen? Is that what's happening here? Hang on. since it's in this area. Let's, yeah, let's, uh, do we have side mission? Uh, I'm not sure. Side missions. Investigate the failed training course. Maintenance slash view. travel closer. That's the wrong button. Oh, no, to press the wrong... oh this place is gonna come down. Go. Okay, maybe not the time for some side quests then. saving while we go up to level 3, so it's probably a good or bad thing. Okay, level 3 seems to be higher than level 2. Right now. No, this is stairs. Uh, I don't have that. Inexplicable circle thing shows up. Pointing toward a thing, and I'm like, I can't go that way. Let's go to the control. Is there something I need to do? Did you think there would be who's in the room with what's his name? In the security room, right? It would give me a little problem, right?
forces contained. The lockdown. Yeah. Will only be lifted by a directorial override. This is what we came here to do. sector should be open now. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. I'll risk it. You two should get to know each other. That looks like half of where we go to for to uh, you know. Okay. Right there, right there. Nice. Down in there. Oh, we went past this in the very beginning. Fast travel to the NSC control room here, the energy converter's entrance. And then stay on Oh, is this the doorway? No, it's not. This way. I want to access the training. Bathroom. 
Typically avoiding walking through the uh walking through. Oh it's not ominous. Oh, oh. Well, here is something. Maybe something that'll happen in that closeness. Telling us that there's another, another ominous shape on the horizon in our future here. here for us. Research and records. Research on thresholds. The oldest house is a place of flux. Thresholds appear with no warning. What the threshold will contain is a question we can only answer once it manifests. The widely accepted theory is that thresholds are dimensions vibrating on a unknown frequency different from our own. When these frequencies match, the threshold will manifest in the oldest house, which acts as a redacted. Others theorize thresholds are parallel universes, and possibly our own reality at a different point in time. Some believe our collection of altered materials affects the house or attracts the thresholds. 
We do know for certain that thresholds are not permanent. E eventually, their frequency will shift. Some believe Earth is just another threshold connected to the oldest house, which is actually rooted in some other reality. This theory, while impossible to disprove, causes it redacted in those who uh, the in those who learn of it. So is actively denied. Quartermaster required for entry. Unregistered personnel will not be admitted. This training course is designed for combat personnel with basic weapon, basic weapon conditions. If you're not eligible for the course and believe you require combat training, please speak to the So. Oh. So I, I just read this. Welcome to the Ranger Field Training Course. The course must be completed in this specified amount of time. When you're ready to start, press the button. Is that all, or...? I always did love obstacle courses. Get ready, Ranger. Course starting in five, four, three, two, one. Go. Ranger, course starting in five, four, three, two, one. Go. Forty five seconds remaining. Five seconds 
seconds remaining. Both failed. Try again, Ranger. How close we were. If I had not been like two hundred shots or four, that could not have been. Get ready, oh. Ranger. Course starting in five. Four, three, two, one. seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. They specifically describe psychotic Aren't you awkward voice recording? Guessing this isn't usually part of the course. Oh. It's protecting itself. and shield to toggle as well. Toggle shield. I've only aim on toggle. That feels very uh, appropriate to the left on a button. But... Very much. I'm not going to use controller button. My hands will melt into a little puddle. Oh, do I need to be facing the direction I'm being shot at? Oh, it's time to have no. a 
shield. Video game said immediately you are going to want to have a shield. <laughs> oh, okay, so I... So I'm supposed to shield and stealth through that, apparently, instead of trying to get rid of these guys. They didn't even see me. Like, they didn't even try. I was just strolling. Am I going to have to do the whole shield challenge again? Please tell me I'm not going to have to do the thing. No. Wait. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Easy peasy. Nice. Okay, now... <laughs> oh boy. Well, we've got cash for abilities now. I don't want to boost launch so I can throw missiles. <gasps> launch enemies. Launch large enemies. Launch large objects and hold up to three objects. Oh no. I mean, I'm not using launch all that much, but I am going to be using shield a bunch. Yes, absolutely. Uh, more shield strength, please. What's the shield barrage? When released, shield... Oh, so then I can drop the shield for a get off me. I have three, two, that's perfect. And then... I assume this makes shield brush stronger and then oh and then you can dash oh evade is not dodge okay anything interesting in astral constructs oh uh, we should be able to construct shatter very soon which is going to be fascinating honestly i've not beefed it through the end uh, there uh, let's go fast travel. That's why I originally opened that. So I need to go to Central Executive to talk to what's her name? Emily, I believe, is her actual, actually her name, not what's her name. Make Pikmin have things to see. I heard the his attack the power plant. Brings up a lot of new questions. Are they communicating? Coordinating? What about the plant attracted them? That's a good question. The power plant is largely confidential. No use guessing the Hiss's motives if we don't even know what kind of energy it uses. What do you mean? It has to be a fusion reactor. There's no other way to create that kind of energy output, right? I mean, fusion is the obvious answer to our science, but these things are clearly on a different plane of understanding. Jesse, you made it. And you lifted the internal What's lockdown. Up? Let's talk, Emily. Yes, yes, of course. Yeah, we got things to chat about. Listen, we got a Emily. Scene or do I get to ask you questions? Maybe both. Screw it. Just, Just tell her. I, I haven't been me. completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Was that addressed in another video game? Came through. That sounds faintly. Bad. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being. What, what kind, kind of being? being? It's hard the to describe. From the start but it from the start screen. She helped us. We managed oh, to turn yeah, the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways were gone. After that, your people came. Tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left them behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. He covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. 
I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. Yeah, I've never heard of it. But around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since Ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her... Polaris. As in, a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here, in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. But one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron Resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my keycard. The sector elevator will take you there. Oh, sick. Point level three, thanks. Marshall is the next step. Oh. What Emily told me about ordinary my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past. I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. And when time comes, I will come calling. Mm. I like that. Hey, Emily. You got any cool? Maintenance major targets. Hi, hey, Jesse. You got more to tell us? Yes, oh. I'm already asked. See you soon. Okay, thank you. Be careful out there. Absolutely not. Uh. Alright. I guess. Find Marshall. Or. What do we have other permissions? Uh, maintenance major targets. Yeah, let's go. Do maintenance. That looks timed. So, always timed up. Uh, timed mission. Uh oh. Guess we need to find out. Go to the energy converters. Why didn't I go there first? Dummy. Energy converters. Oh, I can walk into the room that was damaging me with shield now.
Oh no! We only had one shot at that? Well, I would have played a lot more conservatively if I if I didn't know I only had one shot at that. Okay. Well. <laughs> Explosive environmental hazards provide an opportunity to damage enemies, but remember, they may be just as damaging to you. Cut back to me accidentally exploding myself. Also, I didn't know I only had one shot at that. I would have been much more careful. But one time thing. Yeah. I was looking forward to having a weird little. I, I guess that might happen again sometime. Like it's a limited time thing. We need to go. Let's go to Central Executive. That's the easiest elevator to get to, I think. I say as if we didn't walk past the elevator, like, for a good 20 plus minutes. Also, I love seeing Polaris there in the load screens. Also, also, I love that each sector seems to have different color grading. That's a really, really nice touch, like, artistically, visually, I mean. So we need to go to the research sector. Service weapon forms share the same ammunition resource. Use your abilities while it recharges. I really like spin, but it eats through ammo really quickly. We might need to find some adjustments to uh, modifications to uh, Oh, red. Oh, it's just this. Welcome to Welcome Central to Research. Center research. Somebody, Somebody thought, thought this video would make for great internal communications. I'm looking at you, Mr. Tomasi. So, this is where the magic happens. Anyway, I've been here for 24 years now. I've always been here. And, and through those years, we've made astonishing discoveries, authored studies of great importance, and in all this work, there is one thing we know and that's how little we truly know. Rest assured, we're committed to keep pushing the known laws and borders of reality, and to make the Bureau proud. So, welcome. Assuming you have the necessary clearance, and, and do follow the safety protocols. Read the manual. Otherwise, bad things will happen. Oh, yes, of course. Standard operating procedures. That's... Research sector, huh? Home of the Bureau's mad scientists.
you have a funny. Oh. Now you have a funny melee attack, and I'm like, I also have funny melee attack. <laughs> Too bad I'm bad at video game. <sighs> well then, we could probably handle that better. Honestly, what I should do is, if they have a tell, use the dash ability. The, the sniper is actually. You know what I wouldn't give for a dash ability in Splatoon? I would love to be able to hear in three dimensions, but my headphones are not bad for that tonight. Thanks. Expensive, expensive headphones. And still, still, you know what? It's not Thought he was falling, so he panicked. This is activating my like, text adventure invisible maze brain. Small 
thing each time. I could have gone that way. Could have gone that way if I didn't notice the door. Anyway, let's not spend a thousand years in this maze as much as I would love to. I found a little. Oh. It's the ashtray maze. The ashtray maze technically has a map, but it, it's not spatially consistent enough to actually be a map, so it's just a it's simple, cute. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous to walk through these big things. Again, we're not going with that metal detector. So where are the guns? Oh, I just heard two.
Psychology. That's where we need to go, and it's important. So we can more about you know the that outside the history. She's in trouble. I need to reach her. So, judging by the way this the hiss looks on the screen here, oh. Okay, the building is greeble to force us into a specific path here. Not good. The way the hiss looked like on screen there for a second, it definitely looks like it is of this uh, Polaris is of the same class, just maybe a kind of a chaos of the kind of thing. <laughs> new assets. I got intrusive patterns and astral blips. Oh! Sure. The, is the communications department near? More importantly, do we have a control point to get there quickly? I don't think we have a control point to get there quickly. Oh, we'll track that in the case we find the control point.
I don't think we can reach communications. We're in research. This is maintenance. I guess it says executive because we need to go to the communications level. Most information on the astral plane is, is classified. Oh, we've got points. Uh, more shield would be nice. Honestly, uh, I think we need to dump points to get launch explosives because the explosives have been really kicking us in the teeth. Nice, we unlocked an additional personal mod slot. So now once we have two wounds, we have one more point, we can launch explosives. Nice, nice, nice. Ability points. We could unlock melee one and then just wait for a large point expenditure. And right, but we can talk. Oh, construct. <gasps> Pierce is the sniper. Oh, that. I don't know. That's tempting. I'm always a sucker for any sniping mode, even though I usually can't hit the broad side of the bonnet. We can get more astral blips and more source. I'm much more inclined to get a get after Pierce than Shatter. Yeah, like eh. Yeah, let's see if we can save up some more source. We can always get Shatter next. In broad strokes, keep in mind. Oh yeah, we can these are staggeringly complex systems, and simplification does them no justice. Now, the white non-space, the ever-present inverted black pyramid. <laughs> Oh, the board. All linked. Intrinsically tied to the oldest house. Tied to the director. The process of choosing a director. Tied to all objects of power. In terms of who controls them. Yes. Well, fair enough. Um, yeah, like I said, I don't think we can get to executive right this second. So, maybe... This is where we are. Oh! These are astral structures. I mean, it's not literally the astral plane, I don't think. Oh! Oh, that's an active camera view. No, I'm standing in the way. Yes. Is this? Fair enough. hypothesis was that the mindscape of the astral plane is subjective, but that was fast proven wrong. It's an actual place, not a construct of the mind, even though it is with our minds that we enter and experience it. But then one could argue that that's the case with all reality. We've been able to record footage of the astral plane by monitoring the brain activity of those experiencing it. That is the only concrete material that has come out of the astral plane expeditions. Shocking exception. In the astral plane footage, we're always in the vicinity of the pyramid. We've concluded that this, not the entire plane, is what the board controls. We have glimpsed movement. Native species always in the distance, and yet, contact was made. We don't have footage of this, a technical we'll malfunction, data. when one of our astral knots returned, a brain cloud, an astral fugue, had hitchhiked a ride in his head. It ruptured out, killing the subject in question. It's a relentless predator, pursuing thoughts, minds, lethal to those the entity feeds on. Proper containment protocols are to be observed when dealing with it. Bullet questions. So... This footage by building it out of brain waves? That's incredibly complex science. I can't believe oh, they keep that thing here. Oh, I'm getting close. 
somebody shut the door. to discover what was happening here and then keep going? Maybe. Huh. No idea. By the way, this thing is very unsettling in this game. Don't seem to have any way to damage it. So it's just out there. Wait, this is too regal. 
Oh, it's too green. Oh, wait. This is now open. This wasn't open. Uh, well, open for some sense. Can't go that way because it's too grievous, so we need to do something with the astral. The, the, the mind spike. To unreal this room. Because the control point didn't. Right? Am I thinking correctly? spike over there. I mean, it seems like should do something Snipers specialize in eliminating threats from a distance using the telltale searchlights affixed to their rifles to search for targets. His snipers are no le less lethal. The corruption has not changed their tactics. They clearly prefer to maintain a good distance from the target, waiting in elevated positions for a clear shot. Care should be taken in open spaces. Check the balconies. I should note that their rifles are equipped with a bayonet for close quarters combat, and that his snipers are well aware of how to use it. Prefer to redact file number for a full report. The Astral Expedition. The Astral Expedition was initially built for the astron astronauts to use as a training location, a place to grow accustomed to the sights and sound of the astral plane before driving into the real thing. We could have done a better job with it, but redacted was being stingy with budget. However, once we discovered the mind spike, we decided to repurpose the space. Similar to how zoos hope familiar surroundings will affect the well-being of their animals, we hope to observe the mind spike's behavior in an environment similar to its home dimension. So far, it breaks everything we've put in with it, but Rome wasn't built in a day. New naming conventions have been established for the astral entity now known as the astral spike. Outdated terms in the report have been redacted. Synchronicity. Synchronicity is a phenomenon long recognized by the wise, but only recently given a name by, the, by science. It's how we rationalize events connected by no identifiable causality, yet clearly conjoined in purpose. How does a dream foretell an event in the physical plane? Why do hounds bail at the death of their master, which has occurred miles away? The world is unified in ways which we do not yet understand. And sometimes we stumble across, the, across these invisible unseen chords and wonder the result. The visionary Carl Jung laid the road, now we must walk it. My fledgling research department will now make it our mission to reliably reproduce a redacted behavior by the close of 1959. Once done, the mechanics of synchronicity will lay themselves bare in due time. We are striding into the future of science. History may not remember our names, but God himself will. Refer to a full a redacted file for the full report. Oh, we can filter to unread. Cool. Unread. The home safe. The object is a guardhouse brand home safe. Weight measurements home weight measurements vary. When bound, the object allows para-utilitarians to telekinetically gather items and debris from their surroundings. The object is currently bound by redacted. Discovered in the basement of a home in redacted Ohio, the object gained rapid interest in certain online forums dedicated to opening abandoned safes. After months of failure, the, open, the owner attempted to open it with explosives. The object survived with no physical damage. 
bureau agents were dispatched, now confident of its paranatural nature. Blood occasionally emerges from the seam around the object's door. Tests, tests confirm the blood is not human. X-rays taken of the object indicate that something's trapped inside, though the image are always blurred, which indicates the contents of the object are moving. All attempts to open the object have been unsuccessful. In an altered world event, there's an emergency call supplement. An event date of 6-17-1993. Dispatcher. Hello, what is your emergency? Hello? Hello? I I'm here, can you hear me? I can hear you, ma'am. Where are you? I'm, um, inside the wires? I'm lost. Ma'am, have you been drinking tonight? I feel like I'm stretching through the wire toward you. Don't hang up. I might go if you hang up. Go where, ma'am? Go... gone. Away. Okay, and you... can you describe your surroundings? There's an unknown noise. Uh, ma'am? Hello, ma'am? The dispatcher attempted to call the number back, but it was no longer in service. Isn't that odd? Correspondences? Uh, an official correspondence. I'd like to file a, form file a formal complaint, i.e. the unauthorized use of my voice in a state of quality that I did not agree upon. The fact that they were planning to use material from what I thought was a rehearsal was not communicated to me at all. Had it been, I would have disallowed the use of these recordings. I want use of the Ranger Field Training Course recorded messages to halt immediately. I will not stand for this humiliation, humiliation among my peers. I'll go to HR with this if necessary. Randall Pulaski. So Randall didn't like his uh, recordings uh, for the field course. Oh, a book club. Unless you, review by Captain Lopez. These days, most young adult novels intertwine the coming-of-age story with either a contrived dystopian setting or tragic romance, unless you manage to do both. In the story, the protagonist and her love interest search for a cure to a virus called The Fix, which is simultaneously killing her and spreading across the whole world. To find the cure, they go on expeditions into dangerous, uncharted territories that people all live in walled cities, of course, because the stupid dystopian future. And along the way, they just have to fall in love. I like how we never got to know if the fix was ever actually fixed. The ending was bold, especially for young adult work. The main character succumbs to the fix when she's so close to the cure and commands her love interest to go on and save the world. She knows this is the end for her, but that the job can still get done. She dies out in the unknown, alone and surrounded by danger, but never loses sight of the goal. That's a good soldier's death. I'd give the book a three out of five. I feel like most of the teenage angst is a little lost on me, but I'd recommend it to my brother's kids, for sure. A clog complaint. Gross blockage down the water system's back. The fuck is it? Where does it keep coming from? Why the hell does Ati keep yelling nonsense at it? He acts like I can understand it. Of course he acts like we can understand him too. I guess that's just his brand of crazy. Then try out a new drain cleaner. Extreme strength. Hey, Bozer, get this. The accounting department still says they haven't received my expense reports. Say the receipts probably got lost in the mail tubes because of a shift or a threshold or some such nonsense. If I don't have the originals, they can't verify my expenses for reimbursement. Such BS. Why do we use the tubes if they spit out our mail in some other dimension? Just vetting here before I make a formal complaint. Useless piece of shit. Rodriguez. Hey, so I was wondering about the plants and research. Is it really necessary to sing to them? I mean, that janitor does have a nice voice, and the plants do seem to like it. Maybe you could just switch it up a bit. I'm getting pretty tired of the tango. Where do these plants even come from? No one seems to remember when they were planted, and people like them a bit too much if you ask me. Are we being invaded by houseplants? It's worth looking into. Ooh, a Tennyson report warning. Listen, Trench is on the warpath for the Tennyson report thing. He wants to know who wrote it, and he wants to know yesterday. Whoever did is going to get crucified. I don't know if it was one of you guys, and I don't want to know. I'm not super keen on leading a witch hunt, so tell everyone in the sector to keep their heads down. Best not to be on anyone's radar right now, you know. I tell you, not even counting all the weird nonsense we deal with, this place can be a downright hostile work environment sometimes. Mmm, a game reminder. Next game is Wednesday at 8, usual spot. Hazard owes me 20 bucks. Arish is still on a winning streak, so someone figure out how he's cheating. Thompson's suspended for a game because of that shady dealing incident. 
the high IOU 60 bucks. I brought the beers last time, so it's Heppenstall's turn. Remus. <laughs> we got some multimedia. Oh, did we watch this one? This is about the Astro Plane. We watched a the Astro Plane. It's similar to an iceberg. What you see is not what you always get. Yeah, we watched this one. And we already watched the one about and the Astro Plane. The only hypothesis do, was right? that the mindscape of. Welcome to the research like sector of opening thing. Yeah, the opening of the My research name sector. Is Dr. Oh, and we already listened to that too. Cool. Any hotline recordings? Uh we didn't get a lot about the ash the ashtray maze. I'm averse to using objects of power. I don't want to lean sure on things true. I ultimately can't trust. But the ashtray and the cigarette smoking there forever have their uses. The ashtray maze they conjure is an impossibly changing labyrinth that no one but the binder and those the binder invites can ever pass through. The so things we, we hid in dimensional research, ashtray. the things Darling studies, the danger and the risk involved, call for every measure of security and protection I could bring to the table. The maze hands down is our strongest lock. I gave Darling and his chosen crew license to pass through the maze. But not completely. I've started to think I should revoke that license. Hmm. Oh, and there was more about the internal lock. In so the much is expected from the director. The responsibility Honestly, I think we should watch these after the privilege we get them. to steer the bureau into dangerous Maybe. waters and safely out again. It's like I know to inspire where these and lead but... its people, to protect them. The board is there to advise you, but they want things in return. Oh, I'm sure that you hold all return. this in your old, trembling hands. I had to lose everything before I could see the bureau is the director's life. There's yeah. no room for anything else. If the forces contained here escaped, we'd be dragged back into an age of superstition, terror, death. Assuming you think we ever really left that behind. Any emergency, any major containment breach, and the lockdown goes into effect. I implemented this security measure in my first years as director. I knew we were vulnerable. I'd personally seen the cost of sloppiness. I made sure the internal lockdown could only be lifted by a directorial override, only to be used when the director is confident the sectors are safe to be opened again. This way, the director is the last line of defense. And if I screw up, it's on me, and me alone. Hmm. Fair enough. I'm wondering if we should start watching these as we see them. It feels like we should. This one we might have seen a little bit. The hiss spread is searching your transmissions and speakers. Move to corrupt and pause panels. The astral plane is a conflux or switchboard. The hiss will come for us all. We must stop or shut them up. Hmm. Stay bored. Alright, um. I'm out of time. Uh, we, we saved it. Let's open another. Let's open our whole thing and make it safe here. Alright, I'm going to call it an evening, and we'll come back and deal with the Astral Spike next week. Um, what else? Uh, we already thanked Perfectly Imperfect Soul. Uh, what's coming up this week? we got to work on uh, more uh, Astounding Stories this Friday, this coming Friday. Uh, probably finish that up. 
and that's uh, that's paper cuts for this week. And then we'll be playing more of this next week. We feel like I feel like I've been making a lot of story progress. Um, yeah, uh, keep an eye out for some things I've had spinning on the back burner. Uh, like I said, I've been posting little clips to TikTok and YouTube. I've been posting the stream vods to YouTube every Saturday now. Those will keep going until we run out of them. Um, I don't know what else. Uh, oh, I will promote my Discord. It exists. Uh, there's a bunch of fun stuff in there. You can suggest paper cuts, books. You can post pictures of things you're working on. There's some additional material that'll make some of the uh, channel redeems make more sense. It's it's a great time. Uh, I've been, like, occasionally hopping on the voice channel in there and, like, working on VODs or working on TikToks or ripping vinyls or, you know, this and that and the other and everything and anything that I feel like I can't stream on Twitch for one reason or another, but I want to stream anyway. Uh, Paper Cuts exists. It is the podcast we record live Fridays. We read books there. Do I got anything else to promote? I already pointed out I got a TikTok. If you like TikTok, if you like weirdly, if you like short clips of me, you know, that that's a thing you can go get. Uh, those are getting cross-posted to YouTube as shorts. Uh, there's a YouTube channel for VODs. Do I have a VODs command? Do I have a YouTube channel command? I do have a YouTube channel command. Good. Um, all right. I think I've uh, promoted all my other things. If you like, if you liked it here, I appreciate you sticking around. Let's go say hi to somebody, shall we? I'll see you. See you Friday for paper cuts. Mm-hmm.